Well, my fellow agents, as most of you know by now, the game officially announced when we can expect the start of Year 5 Season 1. We also have one more week of the Golden Bullet Global event. There is a lot to look forward to, and as I do every Monday, I'm going to take a few minutes, go over those details, and answer some of the questions you've sent the channel. What's up my YouTube family, Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade back with another Division 2 video and today is all about going over a few things I really feel you should make a priority this week while the Golden Bullet Global event is going on. Now if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well and we do have giveaways but I will save that stuff until the end of the video. Now as you can see on the screen, we finally have an official launch date for Year 5 Season 1 Broken Wings. It is next week which is on June 8th. It's going to be a week from this Thursday, there is so much to look forward to because remember when year five begins, we're not only going to be seeing an amazing new exotic assault rifle in the game, there are some great brand and gear sets as well, but it also introduces the new game mode Descent. I know for many of you out there, you're looking forward to jumping into it. I know some of you are still on the fence, but the bottom line is fellow agents, we are finally moving in the right direction. There is no delay. This is happening right on track and I cannot wait for next week to get here. With that being said, my friends, we also have a few things going on in the game this week, the first of which being the Golden Bullet Global event is going to go on for an additional week. Now, the game has said your star should roll over from one week to the next. However, in my opinion, I recommend spending the majority of your stars today before the event resets tomorrow, just in case they do not carry over, because the one thing I do not want to see happen is anyone to lose any of the stars that they've earned over the last week or so. I've talked to people that have gained like two, three hundred shade levels. That's a ton of stars, a ton of caches. And on the outside chance, something does take place and they happen to not roll over, I do not want you to miss out on anything you have earned, so in my opinion, you should spend them while you have them. Next, my friends, I want to talk about XP farming, and one thing you've heard me say over the last week a bunch of different times in a bunch of different videos is the only thing you should be farming, in my opinion, at this point, are resource convoys. They can be found all around the map, and the reason you want to do that is they are going to give you double XP for every single one you hit, regardless of the difficulty or the directives. Now, to give you an example, you can see my world difficulty is set to challenging. I've got three directives going, and in less than a minute, once I engage with this resource convoy, I'm going Going to be getting over 400,000 XP. Now, one thing I want to mention, as a lot of you have reached out in regard to this, is that even though the indication you see on screen when you clear the resource convoy says one thing, if you look at your XP bar, that number is going to be doubled. So in the close-up, you can see it says 389 and change. Now, when we look at the actual indication on the screen, it says 194, 598, but obviously that number is doubled. So again, my friends, worry about the XP bar, not the number on the screen. And as I said, you are going to stack that XP insanely fast. Now with that being said, it does bring up another question a lot of you have sent the channel and that is how long can we expect to see the double XP for resource convoys in the game? Now you've heard me say in multiple videos that the game is planning to make a major change to farming XP in the game. Certain things are going to get buffed, other things are going to get nerfed. Now that actually takes us to the known issues board and one of the changes we can expect to see in title update 18, which by the way is year 5 season 1, is a conflict rewards revamp, which I know for a lot of you out there it has been something you've been waiting to see for a very long time. Now, if you look at the very bottom, you can see an update was made, I think about a week ago, maybe a little longer, that says for TU18, it will be the only XP rebalance. Now, at this point, I do not know if that means they're going to once again take out the double XP for resource convoys. So as I said earlier, I recommend hitting these up nonstop until we get to year five, season one, just in case they do make a change. For those of you that are obviously doing Golden Bullet right now, it's a perfect way to earn stars and for those of you trying to get to shade level 1000. Even after the global event ends, you still want to make this a priority because it will make a huge change in your character once you get to shade level 1000. This is by far one of the most efficient ways to farm in the game. And as always, if you have any other questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know. Continuing on with the known issues board, you can see players are still unable to share gear or skill mods. Now this has been moved to an entirely new category on that board. It's called backlog and they say they will revisit it later. Now in my opinion, if it's between getting year five 
Half-Life Season 1 out on time and taking care of certain visual bugs, things like that, or sharing in the game, I'd much rather they get this new content out because I know that's what's going to bring a lot of people back to the game. Now, obviously, we want all of these things fixed, and it is my sincere hope that these issues do not get forgotten about, especially when it comes to the apparel issue. Most of you know by now that when you switch your loadout, you're going to see your apparel change in the game. Now, there is an easy fix. You log out and you log back in. But honestly, you have to do that every single time you change your loadout, and it is not a game-breaking issue. It does not affect your gameplay, but I know for a lot of you out there, including myself, you've spent a lot of time earning apparel, wanting a certain look, you finally obtain it, and having to log out and log in every time you want to have a certain, you know, look on your character. Does get pretty annoying to do every time you want to switch up things and change your build, but again, my friends, it will not affect your gameplay. I hope they fix it soon, and as always, like I said before, questions or comments, please let me know. Finally, today, my fellow agents, with it being Memorial Day, I want to acknowledge all of the individuals around the world that paid the ultimate price serving our country. And for those of you out there that have lost loved ones in the service, please know today you are in my thoughts. I send my sincerest heartfelt thanks and appreciation. With all that being said, my family, I'm going to start to wrap this up. Now, I did mention at the beginning of the video, we are currently having a giveaway for an Xbox Series S. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter, and the winner will be announced August 1st of this year. As I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.